Christmas is fast approaching and one question on many people's minds is will it be a white one this year? Well for a white Christmas we need just one solitary snowflake to fall somewhere in the UK during the 24 hours that make up Christmas Day. Now this happens a surprising number of times, in fact on average two in every three years produces a white Christmas somewhere in the UK. But your chance of seeing a white Christmas varies quite a bit depending on your location and in general the further north you are and the higher up you are the greater your chance of seeing some white stuff on the big day. So take the Cairngorm Mountains in Scotland for example, here there's about an 80% chance in a given year of seeing a white Christmas but down on the south coast in Southampton it's a rather measly 5%. How do our capital cities fare? Well, as you would expect, the further north you are, the greater your chance. So for the likes of Edinburgh and Belfast, 19% apiece. But come further south and it again, those numbers drop away, just 7% in Cardiff, for example. Since 1960, the winter with the greatest number of weather stations reporting sleet or snow falling on Christmas Day, well, that was in 2004 when 61% of stations saw snow falling during the 24 hours. However, many of us think of a white Christmas as one having a covering of snow on the ground on the big day itself. And this is a much rarer event. In fact, since 1960, the whitest Christmas was 2010, when 83% of the weather stations across the UK reported snow lying on the ground. And you can see on this satellite picture here just how much of the country was covered in snow, just Cornwall really standing out with the green there, the land showing through. Many other places, though, were snow covered. Now most of this snow fell in the days leading up to Christmas 2010, but on the day itself, 25th of December, nearly 20% of stations also reported snow falling during that 24 hour period as well. The deepest snow ever recorded on Christmas day was a whopping 47 centimeters in Perthshire back in 1981. Now December is actually the least snowy month of the whole winter season and you're more likely in general to see a white Easter than a white Christmas, especially when Easter falls early on in the spring season. You can clearly see here just 3.9 days of snow falling in the UK on average during the month of December compared to the other winter months and indeed into March with 4.2 days of falling snow here as well. So with that in mind, will it be a white Christmas this year? Well, you'll just have to stay tuned to find out.